Well, when you look at, say, uh, Einstein, for instance, I've never fallen for Einstein's uh, propaganda. He's so typical of the ones that suddenly they pull out of nowhere a sudden genius, just like uh, the same thing with Charles Darwin and many others that belong to the Royal Society at the highest Masonic scientific group on the planet. Did Einstein? Uh, yeah. And Einstein literally was diagnosed at school. He was classed as an idiot in his school, if you read his, the biographies on him. Um, his teachers all said the guy couldn't learn anything. They were stunned when he suddenly, you know, years later, he became a famous scientist. But his parents were, were well connected in Switzerland. And they got him a job in the patent office. And the reward, if you work enough, see, patent offices aren't there to protect people's patents. Patent offices are set up to steal people's patents for their masters. And because of the good job he did, they made him a famous scientist. C.P. Snow and other people who wrote books on him and interviewed Einstein many times said he never talked about science to people. He always talked really? politics, but it wasn't just politics. He, it was a globalized system he talked about that was to come. He referred to it himself in C.P. Snow's books uh, as, as Zionism, the real meaning of Zionism, nothing to do with Israel. And so at the High Masonic tradition, of course, they do call it Zionism. But hold on, and I'll come back with more after this break. Hi folks, I'm Alan Watt and this is Cutting Through the Matrix talking to Andrea from New York about the Red Square building down there. It's quite a fascinating place, the photographs I've seen it so far anyway. But uh, yeah. yeah, they have Einstein's name on the, on the roof. And, and, right. and you don't know who Pofa was, P-O-P-H-A? I haven't had time to go into that part of it yet, uh -huh. but um, I'm sure it'll be related to the same, uh, the same global type agenda. See, Einstein believed that, again, experts and scientists should rule the world in a post-democratic right. society. He also believed that nationalism had to go. He used um, the whole doctrine of the atom bomb to terrify the public, and he came out with his famous statements, and the next war will be fought with sticks and stones after the atomic war. This is all to terrify the people of the world under the United Nations auspices to, to give up their sovereignty. But Einstein himself, as I say, did not invent the atom bomb. Uh, it was invented what about by the theory an, an of uh, rel relativity? I mean... Um yeah, but even these theories, um, you can understand that they've done this before, even with Charles Darwin. Uh, Charles Darwin did not uh, come up with the origin of species. His grandfather published a book very similar to that before him. It was in the family, and most of the stuff, if you look into the, the history books, especially the stuff that's taught today under freedom of information when they disclose stuff a hundred odd years later, um, they admit that Wallace was the guy that supplied most of the information that Charles Darwin used in his, his supposed book, The Origin of Species, and it was the Royal Society of London, this high institution authorized by the Crown, that chose Darwin to be the front man to, to push evolution. It was the same thing with, with uh, as I say, with um, this other uh, present guy. Uh, they always give you a leader, and they give them roles to play, and as I say, Einstein's role was primarily political. He, he couldn't say much at all about science without a few notes in front of him in any speech. And uh, do you think the same thing is more or less true with Tesla? I, I'm pretty sure. The guy, I, Tesla did not. Uh, when you look at what he supposedly invented, he had to first invent different components to get the, in, the, the main invention working. You couldn't do that uh, when you understand how components work in electronics without having an understanding of what you'd have to do in the first place. See, science can only progress from, from something that's already discovered. Then you discover, you say, what can we do with this now? Then you try different things, and someone somewhere will come up with some good use for it. Yet we're told that Tesla just happened to know how to make uh, forms of, of uh, capacitors and this and that and the other, things that they hadn't done up until then. And he just did it all by himself, by intuition. That's impossible. The, the guy was trained somewhere by... See, sciences are very, very old. What the public are given at this level, 
and at school and university is a lower order of science. We are literally living in the past, in a sense, when it comes to medicine, physics, and, and biology, and chemistry. We're, that's the lowest order. They have two orders above that. Mm-hmm. The higher orders get weaponry, and the higher echelons, even above CIA, the secret services, and the ones at the very top have the real stuff that really, really work. And, and literally, that they're years ahead of anything that the public are ever told about. So, just one more question about yeah. Red Square. Did you notice the uh, trapezoids? Or a couple yes, of I did. I did too. And the situation, even the way it faces south, that's because the sun, of course, is highest at noon in, in the south. You see, that's why it's really in the south, not because this revolution started there. And the Grand Master always sits in the east, where the sun rises. Yeah. Okay. That, that's a highly, highly Masonic. That's what it is. All right. But thanks for calling in. Yeah, we don't really have time to go into that too much tonight. But for Dave in uh, Arizona, Dave in New York, and Kyle in Connecticut, uh, phone in again tomorrow. And from Hamish myself in Ontario, Canada, it's good night to me. Your God, your God's go with you. Thank you.